Good morning. Uh, thank you very much for enabling me to speak today. <clears throat> My name is Jack Hazard. I live in Heritage Oaks. I'm also Professor Emeritus at Georgia State University. What that means, Emeritus, means I'm old. Um, I wrote a report last year that summarized many of the things that were just said. Um, I titled it The Building of a Perfect Storm, which was a metaphoric title for what is happening at Garrison Ridge. <coughs> the report itself is 36 pages long. It's based on my research in collaboration with the citizens that live in the three com communities that abut the Collins property. This report <clears throat> was presented last year, well, actually earlier this year, to the commissioners, to the planning commission, and it was read and studied. And as a result, not just of this report, but of many of our presentations, you denied the Collins approach to trying to resolve this land. And so, interestingly enough, the plan that they are presenting is included in our report. We found out last year that this third plan is what I call it. It's where you have a shopping center, a wooded area, and a very, very big pond. We have this in this report, which was documented last May. I also calculated how much overburden and rock would be removed to flatten this land so that it is at the same elevation as Dallas Highway. Now, believe it or not, you probably were not told how much rock and overburden will be removed. But I will tell you. Um, the rock there is very heavy. It's dense. And um, so when you start moving uh, cubic yards of it, you end up with tons of rocks. In fact, we even calculated it would take about 20,000 truckloads to remove all of this material. Now, there's another thing that's very interesting about this project. <clears throat> the county has invested enormous amounts of money and put it in the form of a map, but it's really data. It's information, and it tells how the land should be zoned. And it turns out, <clears throat> right along Garrison Commons, there's a stop sign, literally. But figuratively, there's a stop sign that says, no more commercial building beyond the Taco Mac strip zone. Now, that was done for a purpose. It was part of the, it's called the Neighborhood Activity Center, which is very big. Collins and his lawyers claim that they're going to build a step-down size shopping center. That's not true. Their shopping center will be 80,000 square feet. Taco Mac is 20,000 square feet. So instead of a step down, it's a step up. The other thing is that the flattening of this ridge will have severe effects on erosion, runoff, and will create water problems that are very difficult to resolve. And in fact, if you look at many of the new developments that are going on in West Cobb, water is a big issue. And finally, uh, I want to also comment that one of our engineers who will speak next, Tony Dopkin, a brilliant man who has spent hours and hours studying this, has found out that in order to build 
this shopping center and have a park, there will be slopes. You'll drive Mr. up to Hazard, a thank you. Your parking time lot. Is up. Thank you very much for hearing what I had to say, and I hope that you will stick with your original intention, which was to deny you, this sir. project. Thank you, sir.